Hello, my name is Steve Goldsmith. I want to talk to you today about a new book called The Power of Social Innovation. It's the result of a three-year project here at the Harvard's Kennedy School to look at social progress in urban areas and communities throughout the United States. Essentially, we see in large cities and even small ones that social progress has been stunted, that the path to the middle class through our cities is not what it used to be. And yet we have these enormous numbers of government programs, uh, program for every problem, and they don't seem to be making much difference. But well, we've looked at over 100 case studies to see which social innovators do make a difference and why don't they grow to scale. And the book is designed to create a demand for social innovation and room for social innovation and resources for social innovation. Whether you're an individual social entrepreneur who wants space because you have a model that works, whether you want to amplify the voice of those who need help but are not getting effective services. Maybe you're a business leader on a nonprofit board. It's time to demand results and not just more activities. So we look in this book at the space for innovation in a community and how levers can create change and an opportunity for individuals who don't today receive the chances that they deserve. So demanding change, demanding performance, funds for innovation that are set aside by government or philanthropy, Philanthropists who demand results, too often in our cities, we have this iron triangle of funding that says the same organizations get the same amount or more money every year despite underperforming results. We know that there are solutions to all of these problems throughout the United States. We've seen them, we've documented them. The question is why don't they grow to scale? Why don't they influence policy? The power of social innovation provides those clues.